your tired and bring your shame Bring your guilt and bring your pain How many realize that, you know, your life is not your own when you surrender to God? Amen. You take on a new journey. And um, sis last night as she was preaching, she was talking about the difference between the world and, and the spiritual realm, what we live in. The world doesn't understand what you believe. And until you come to realize that you are a different person, you're a different creation, you belong to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And when God put His hand upon each and, each, each and every one of us, He did it because He's got you marked. Look at your neighbor and say, you're marked. You belong to God. And nothing shall separate you from His love. He's the creator of all things, folks. I, I don't know why I have a message I'm going to preach in a minute, but I feel a troubling spirit in here. And somebody is going through a very, very hardship of time dealing with situations around their home. And as I got up here a while ago before I brought Derek and Brenda up to sing, I felt it was on this side. And I felt that it was within the second row. And I believe it's you, Margie. Sometimes we carry a load and we can't, ex even though we have some very good friends that are spiritual and concerned about our lives and understand situations we're going through, they still can't open up. And God showed me your heart. You are carrying a huge burden a load in your heart but today saith the Lord I'm going to release you and you shall flow in the spirit you shall not be the tail but you shall be the head and you shall not be lacking for the Lord thy God has called thee and put his blessing upon thee. And he shall not hinder thee. For today, my sister, you shall be free. Come on down. Stand right here, honey. You are close friends. Like sisters in the Lord. I mean close. And you bear each other's burden. But what God showed me a few minutes ago when you sitting there, I saw you like you was looking in the darkness. And no hope. But today God said, I'm going to set her free. And she shall walk on clouds. And she shall praise me because I'm going to cause the tide to turn in her life. I don't know much about you, but I do know that you are a giver because you have given me several times many big blessings. And I, you don't know how I appreciated that, and you don't know how much I needed that. But what God's getting ready to bless you with is 50 times more than what you've given me and the church. 
How many believe that God can take a stony heart, a greedy person, an abusive person, doesn't mean physically, but it could be, but mainly in words, trying to tear down your faith in God or your belief or your stand, and God can take the stony heart and melt it and make the changes. And that's exactly what God's going to do today for you, sis. Do you hear what I said? I'm going to be preaching a message in a few minutes about your authority in God. We have authority, but you have to take it. And you can't be a wimp. You can't be a rug. He made you a head, not a tail. I want you to slip your hands up as high as you can get them. And I want you to realize that what's getting ready to happen to you, you'll never forget this day. You mark the date and the time. I don't know if that clock's correct, but check your phone because they never miss the time. <laughs> Everything else can go, but they won't because they want their money. All I can say is, it's done. From the top of your head to the soles of your feet, I decree and I command it to be so. Let the blessings flow. Let your heart not be troubled. Let you know that you are the child of the King. And you're not going to step back. You're going forward. And it will be done today. Amen. I love you. Sir. I love you. That wasn't what I was going to start out doing, but I don't have any control of it right now. I just got to be obedient. say to you the devil ain't got no way of stopping it you hear me you're going to see great and mighty powerful things change in your life and your family because you have stood and you stand for the truth you don't let people push you around and man you're a mighty good cook <laughs> Thank you for being my friend. You hear me? I mean that. You're not a selfish preacher. You're a serving preacher. You don't need to be on the front line. You just need to be in line. And you're in line for a big blessing coming your way, Denville. You hear me? And I love you, brother. And I love you. Lord. For the Spirit of the Lord would say unto my servant, I have decreed a miracle upon your life, and thou hast a miracle that thou can show to the world. And I shall bring you up before many people in renowned places. And they will not be able to deny what I have done unto thee, my servant. For this day a new anointing shall overshadow you and your wife. 
and you shall go forth in the byways and highways. You may even go in separate ways, but you will go and I will go with you, saith the Lord. Come here, Mike. Y'all that have been around long enough know that when I get mad at Mike, <laughs> I tell him to shut up. And I tell people, there's some people I love to death and some I just tolerate, and he happens to be one I tolerate. But he knows that. But I do it in love. Because he is sincere in what he does and what he believes in. But this day, God is going to make some changes in you, Mike. You've been asking God to give you a deeper walk and understanding of the hidden mystery, the hidden manner. And this day it shall come to pass, saith God, for I will decree a new thing in thy spirit, and it will hover over thy mind day and night. In dreams and visions shall I instill some new instructions, saith God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. And I shall heal. All of this infection. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. There it is. Oh, hallelujah. Shirley, come here, honey. I have known Shirley for over 43 years. She's one of the three women that came walking in knee high snow, rain, no matter what kind of weather. I called them Eshak, Bishak, and Abednego. Two of them have gone and went and seen the Lord. And she's still here and still fighting the fight. And this day God is going to touch her from the top of her head. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. There it is. Oh, hallelujah, Shia. Come on, Shorty. I'm telling you, you are getting shorter every time I see you. Or I'm growing one. Say it. I can really feel the spirit in here today. Amen. I know it's in here. It doesn't redirect it what I'm getting ready to do. Stand right here, honey. Stand right there. You know you're one of my favorite you know that in spite of Mike I'm going to do something a little different with you today I'm going to wrap my arms around you and you're going to feel the power of God come from the top of your head surging through your body and God's going to put some strength back in there. You ready for this? Praise you, Jesus. I want to say this from here. I love you. I love you. 
And I hear you praying for me. Bringing me before the throne of grace and mercy. And God has changed some things in here because of your prayers. So now I'm going before the throne of grace and mercy. And I'm going to pray for you that God makes some major changes in you because you desire it. And it shall come to pass, saith the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, touch my sister from the crown of her. Oh, God of He got a hot tire. Garrett, you are marked. You are peculiar. You're different. You're extremely smart. And you're loyal and you're faithful to your father. And if there was ever a father that you could look at that knows that he cares for his son or family, that's the one. But God is getting ready to open up a blessing in your life, a gift that God is getting ready to impart within you. I don't know how to explain this other than when you're sitting there and I'm ministering or whoever's ministering, you're like a sponge absorbing and you take it in and you don't forget it. You have like a photostatic memory when it comes to God's Word or God's knowledge. You will never want for a thing. You'll surpass His knowledge. God is going to give you inventions that will make you very wealthy. And you'll be able to help your father, your mother, and whoever you desire to help. Do you hear what I'm saying? You believe that? I do. Lift your hands. The fruit don't fall far from the tree. So let the tree have it too. Annie, come here. I'm getting you prepared for the message. I got my church mouse out here. She's all right. Let them sleep. They didn't get enough sleep last night. Annie, if nobody told you that they love you, buddy, I do. Hey. What are you acting like that for? I ain't touched you yet. Give us a warning. Just have a whole bunch of it. From the top of your head, sis, to the bottom of your feet. I'm asking God to totally heal. Do you hear what I said? Yes, ma'am. I curse that to dry up and go. In Jesus' name. You didn't tell me, but God did. Take your glasses off, please. 
Chris, give me my oil. What's this? Thank you. Leave, leave her there. Leave her there. Leave her there. God's doing an intervention. Something's going on in the inside that you know nothing about. But God does. Do you believe that God can impart a gift from someone to go and touch someone and cause someone else to get the blessing? Do you believe that? Yes. Come here, Ruth. Give me your right hand. I want you to put your hand right there. It's done. There it is. Rudy, come here. My long friend, long time friend, the first person that I met at Reverend Jenkins. I thought he was important because he had a suit, but I found out he was just a worker. <laughs> And he was my boss telling me what to do. We've been through a lot together and I know that this man prays for me often. In the wee hours of the morning, I, I know he's there praying for me. But today I'm going to pray for him. I was thinking about you when we was over on Williams Road and we were chopping ice it was real bad we was trying to get the lot ready and I wondered where Rudy was so I said to somebody that was working Bill or whoever was working in the building with us I said where's Rudy so I think he's out there chopping stuff off the sidewalk I went out there and Rudy was laid out on the ice he fell and hit his head and we drug him in and set him down in the seat. And from that day forward, the devil has attacked your body. And one thing after another, after another, after another, after another has attacked your body. But today, God's going to revert it and you're going to go back up. You're going to get stronger. You're going to overcome every evil thing thing that's attacked your knees your mind your neck your back your hands your heart and everything else because you're still got a work to do for God and don't forget it you shall do it saith the Lord there it is Donna is one of the people behind the scenes that doesn't like to be seen. She does it because she loves and sees the need. She comes and cleans the house of the Lord. She'll come and open the doors an hour earlier to make sure that everything's ready. And I see her making steps, trying to get up a little higher in the Lord. But today, Donna, a new thing's getting ready to happen in your life. Your two sisters 
is going to play a very important part of what God's getting ready to do for you, for them. You hear what I'm saying? Do you know what it means to get a refreshing, something refreshed? A new anointing? That's what's getting ready to happen to you. If everybody had the concern and the love and the discipline that you have for God's people and God's house, we couldn't keep this building from not expanding because you truly got it. And I really feel honored that I also have you as my friend and that you pray for me and Kenny because you have done so much to help my ministry whether it's been big or little it doesn't make no difference you're there no matter what slip up your hands Donna I mark these hands for blessings you shall pray for people and God shall speak to those people to come to your rescue for you are truly God's servant truly a handmaiden of the Lord oh glory Jesus yes Lord yes Lord yes Lord Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, praise your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Don, if nobody told you today they love you, I do. You know that, don't you? If the Lord tarries and we're still alive, in the next two years, God is going to quadruple the blessings that He has bestowed upon you thus far. All right. And no weapon formed against thee shall prosper, thus saith the Lord.